Hi everyone, happy Sunday. I hope you have had a good weekend wherever you are in the world and whatever the day is. Me, as you can probably tell, I am absolutely exhausted from my trip to uh, Southern California last week. I was working about 70, 72 hours last week, so um, perhaps I need to take it a bit more steady in future weeks. But I'm committed to not missing a day here on the channel because I know that you all enjoy content every day. So what I want to talk to you about today, as you can tell, I'm at home because I haven't yet taken all my camera gear back to the studio. But I have a question for you today and it's about charging stations. Charging stations like this one. Namely, do you think that we should have a blanket mandate that all houses now be built with charging stations for electric cars in mind, whether it be a requirement that every single home that has a garage has the appropriate extra power built into the distribution box so that people can put a charging station in if they need to? Or does it actually mandate that people install a J1772 or equivalent for what your car needs, charging station in the home when the home is new? I know some states in the US and some cities in the US mandate it, and I know some countries around the world mandate it. it. Is it a good thing? Should we be doing it to every new home? Should we be wiring homes for the future so that people find it easier to buy an electric car. And while charging infrastructure is not particularly expensive these days, you know, you can go on Amazon and buy a fully fledged charging station for your car from sort of $400 up. The actual process of having the permits to install it, have an electrician come out and do all of that, or do it yourself and then get your local city ordinance um, certification, make sure that the city has approved it and that it's all to code. That takes time and costs some extra money on top of the car. So should we be making homes with electric vehicles in mind? And should we be making multifamily dwellings with electric vehicles in mind? So that means apartment complexes like this one. This is actually a townhouse, but it's part of an apartment complex. This facility actually has a plug on the wall, or sorry, a socket on the wall, told you I was tired, where you can plug in a charging station. It's one of the reasons why we picked this house to live in. But some apartment complexes don't have that. Homeowners associations sometimes get involved and it's very difficult to figure out, you know, who pays for the electricity. And at least that's what we're told. But in reality, it's very simple, especially with smart metering. You can tie your car's energy use to your own electricity bill. You can have charging stations installed in a multifamily unit very easily with a pedestal. So should we be mandating that all new builds have all of that technology? And should we be going one step further? Should we be saying that homes of the future need to be ready for two-way power transfer, ready for the future of vehicle to grid, battery backup systems like the Tesla Powerwall? Should we be requiring new homes to have those as well? Be interested to see what your thoughts are in the comments below. As usual, like comment and subscribe. If you want to consider supporting us, please do. Patreon, Ko-fi and the swag shop. Yeah, as you can tell, I'm absolutely exhausted. We need to, we need to change how the channel operates. It's not going to be able to carry on like this because I won't be here. <laughs> so yeah, have a great rest of your weekend and I hope I'll see you tomorrow, which is Monday. But until then, keep evolving.